Hi, right, what did you think of the lunch? Oh my god, the taco soup is so good. Oh, is it? Look at this, the taco. Everything's really good. It's really good. We decided to sell the farm and hit the road. We're on an adventure of a lifetime with our two horses, our two motorcycles, and our two dogs. I'm Rhonda, and this is Jay. We are Pleasure Ride RV. Hit the subscribe button to follow our on our next adventure. So we're on Highway 22. We came out of Clanton, Alabama. When you come out of uh, 22, you'll see it's in, the, in a valley. You turn right. It says YMCA Camp Grist Welcome. And then it says Paul M. Grist State Park. This is where you turn right off of 22. We've got quite a climb going up into the park. Um, I believe we come to a stop sign and turn right. Take your time. Looks a little roller coastery. There is a sharp bend coming up after this bend. Not this one, but the next one. Shut up, Burger. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say shut up to me. Okay, this is our setup. We're right here. I got a uh, hitching post. I'm just tearing down the fence right now, but uh, we did do a, a line across from tree to tree. Uh, they do, like I said, they do have tie ups. So we use them to saddle up the horses and stuff. But this is the way we kind of camp at home, too. So, we decided to do the same. Um, but here, I'll show you some of the other sites. So, like I said, the, these, these things here are pretty solid in the ground. I'll show you one of these. You can't even budge them. You can't even budge them. So, yeah, they're pretty, they're steel, they're not wood. So, you got a couple of those. You got some tables, fire, big, huge open area. So, this is our, our little setup. And then, uh, I'll show you. You got two, two right where the blue are. Or uh, frost freeze or whatever frost freeze water lines. See, they got water. There's lots of pressure. Now, I gotta explain something to you. When we came here, uh, this road. This road's the road that says equestrians. So we came up here 
And then when we seen this sign, this sign drove me crazy. Most people wouldn't even recognize this line. But it says primitive horse camping overflow area. So that's where we got screwed up. We thought maybe there's more camping up that way. But it's actually uh, a kids camp that they closed down that's further up this road. So if you come here, this is not an overflow. Now, the, the reason for the the reason for the overflow is because there's campsites down there, regular camping, and when they get too full, they bring them up here. And that's where the overflow. But primitive horse camping, basically, that's what it's supposed to be. That's what it's supposed to be. This is where primitive horse camping is. So if you do come here, don't follow this. Ignore this, and this is where the camp is. Because if you go up there, there's a gate up there, and you're gonna have to back all the way down this road. And that drove me crazy. I was almost ready to leave, but uh, people here convinced us to stay. And, and then this road goes, veers off, it comes down through here and then there's campsites all down in there regular camping and those campsites are actually pretty nice because when you back in you basically that's your view right there is the lake so it is a real if you're just coming with a regular camper that's a nice campsite down there <clears throat> so for horse camping this is pretty nice too but they just got to ignore that overflow because this isn't the overflow for horses. It's the overflow for that campsite down below. So, but we made it in here and, and now we're. Don't chew on me. Oakley, you bad little boy. Oakley, Oakley. Pretty windy today too, that doesn't help either, right? It's a really nice trail. I like I like the trails. They're really nice trails, but with the wind and and uh, riding with gated horses made them a little hyper on us. So now they're they're a little on the spooky side right now. So, but yeah, the lake is just down down there. Trails are nice, they're wide. So we came down off the hill, we're down along the lake, and I uh, have to say the trails are well marked, eh? Yeah. Somebody got happy with the can of creeping. Yeah. It's, it's actually really nice because with all the leaves on the trail, it's hard to tell when you're coming down that hill where the trail was, but they had a mark almost every other tree, so you knew where to go, which is kind of nice. We have been lost on many occasions before, but I don't think you could get lost here. But hey, never say never. They've said that too before, we've gotten lost. <laughs> Yeah, we're prone to getting lost because we like to uh, kind of venture off. Daydreaming, not paying attention. Straight down or fizzling. <laughs> <laughs> that was in uh, Tombs or in um, Tucson. We were just discussing that. Uh, 
Oakley needs a lot of miles. He's just, some things spook him and then he just kind of loses his mind. And this will be his first bridge crossing. Yeah. Well, we'll see how this goes. We got bridges here. Come on. Yep. Nope. Come on. It's this one that you wouldn't want to spook because if you went off the edge, you're in a whole heap of pain. Come on. Come on. Come on. See if Oakley will do it. Probably not. Come on. did amazing honey does not like the sound of a bridge <laughs> yeah honey does not like the sound of a bridge never did <laughs> it's hard to see where all the uh Tree, uh, tree roots are. There's quite a few tree roots. But there's also a lot of places that you can stop and rest and able to get back on. Oh, see? Tells you where you gotta go. Orange or red? We're gonna take red. Orange is just a bigger uh, trail around the lake. And it's supposed to rain today, so I really don't want to be out here in the rain. Nice little rest spot with a bench. And then this is the view across the lake. There's the regular campground with hookups. Yeah, and ours is up on top of the hill there. Yeah, ours straight is across. just up uh, straight across from Honey's Head is where we should be. Up on the hill. Yeah, so it's a nice park. Definitely would come back. Um, what do you think, Honey? It didn't start off so well, though. Yeah, it was pretty rough when we first got here. When it says overflow, just take it because there ain't no other <laughs> campsites further. Because see, what what I was explained to is, is that this is actually the regular campsite and that is actually classified as the overflow. So now they use it for the equestrian overflow, but it, this used to be is where they used to camp. But now it's just regular campers here and horses up there. So the actual overflow is actually the campsite for horses. Yeah. So don't pass that area. <laughs> yeah, no, we did that. Yeah, that was kind of a you few go up swear words and we ended up backing all the way down a bunch of S bends trying to get around these corners of that big unit. So, but we did it. Yeah, we backed we out of it. it. But But yeah. So, and if you need to use the dump station, it'll be down here. Yeah, dump station's down at the bottom. There is, I think, I think that's the only thing that I would say that they need to improve at the horse camp is they either need a an outhouse or a vault toilet or something. Yeah. Something. But they don't even really have that down here either. Well, they have, yes, they, it's supposed to have showers and stuff in that pavilion. So... But it'd be a bit of a hike down to go to the bathroom, so you might want to bring a porta potty if you're tenting it or something, or you don't have your own bathroom. Yeah, you can drive down. We can't drive down. Yeah. So you drop the trailer and bomb down there real quick to that pavilion. That's the pavilion right there. That building over there. Yeah. You got an ice maker, ice there, and ice machine. It's pretty. I've it's, never been in it, but you got the ice thing outside there. Yes. To buy bags of ice. Yeah. But um. The sites, the campsites that are over there, though, are beautiful. I backed in and I was walking around while I was dumping the uh, poop in there. <laughs> the dump. <laughs> And uh, I was Septic. looking around, and it was, it's, uh, if you're just camping with a camper trailer, that's a beautiful spot. It's like a lakefront view. So, I'm done. <laughs> Horse camp. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty 
Pretty nice sign. Fancy, fancy. Fancy. And then orange comes down from up there. Red up there. But orange seems to come down from a few spots. Now we're going to cross this dam. This could be interesting. Running water. <clears throat> come on, honey. You're being a mule today. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is pretty cool, though. Come on. Come on. Get out. Yeah. Being cautious. Stop. Stop. This is really nice. It's definitely one of the nicer parks we've been to, I have to say. It's small, but it's it's a nice park. It would be like, yeah, a tent spot. That would be an awesome tent spot. Listening to that water all night would make yeah. me sleep like a baby. And then you come up and here's the lake. This is like a what? What would you say, Jay? This is like a hidden gem. What? A hidden gem. Just, this needs to be more um, recognized because it's, it's a great little park. Definitely would come back. I like it. What do you think? Cool. I think it's awesome. Yeah, I would definitely come back. It's, it's a really nice little park. Well, hey, what do you know? Canadian geese are here, right there. They come all the way to Alabama for the winter. Who knew? There's lots of uh, good signs, markers out here. What's that one say? To boat launch and to brown trail. So we'll go to our uh, RV. I guess the. Um, that country horsemen of this park are having a Christmas lunch and have invited us. So we're going to uh, head back and meet everybody. I have to say, the people in Alabama are so hospitable. We've, uh, we've had nothing but really nice people um, talking to us and, and giving us information and anything that we need. Um, and the one, uh, when you're coming into the park, you have to go left for the horse campground, primitive horse campground. There is a regular campground down with electric and water um, down below, which you would then have to pen your horses up because there's no, um, it's not technically for horses, but they've built this uh, spot up here on the hill four horses and they've got two water hydrants that are uh, available year-round so you'll always have water for your horses so I'll give you a tour of the campground when we get uh, situated up here and there is a honor box which we left our money for here last night Come on. get up So that's where you pay for staying here. Oh, you two are being retards. Holy. So the RV is up there on the hill. And all the backcountry horsemen are here today. All right. So we, we, we got our favorite fan. He's the biggest fan that we have is right here. Right? And you're gonna stay subscribed, right? And tell your parents. Yeah, mm -hmm. see? He's a good kid. <laughs> you're gonna tell everybody your name? My name is Hunter Ross. 
Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. And my mom makes saddlebags, chaps, buggy bags, and she makes about $200 a month. See, did I tell you not he was the kid, man? He's the man. <laughs> right? Put her there, bud. And my papa owns a restaurant. He owns awesome. a restaurant? What kind of food we got going on over there? Seafood. Oh, oh, oh. got to go there. All righty. So, for all your friends, you have met somebody famous, haven't you? Yes. All right. I'm not Elvis, but <laughs> it works. <laughs> Being a orangutan. <laughs> Being a orangutan? Yeah. What you doing, break dancing back there? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so we have a guest today that's showing us some of the trails. A lady right up here. She's showing us all the trails and stuff. Wanna yeah. say hi to the people? <laughs> this is Helen. Ma'am? We have Christy being our tour guide today from Backcountry Horsemen. What is this? The West Division? No, it's the West Alabama. West Alabama Division? Uh huh. It's almost like Florida. So up there is a set of sirens. If there's a tornado warning or anything like that, that will go off. And you should be able to hear it from the park, I would think. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'd house. hear it through the whole bush. Yeah, because um, that is um, when you came through the um, the grass area yeah. right there. Yeah. Is is there? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where we, yeah, the pine trees and uh -huh. stuff. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. The people that, that are trying to make this uh, a go, uh, they invited us over for lunch there the other day. And I wanted to appreciate that and thank them for that. And uh, met some really nice people. So, anyways, stay tuned when we get rolling. More excitement yet to come.